So this part of it is the transducer setup and your pressure bag on the circulator side. The other two packages that I showed you in the previous video says convenience kit and this is a mail to mail extension tubing. Um, I'll show you the package, but that's always able to change, okay? Depending on availability. So this spike, this is the convenience kit, right? So you have um, your saline already in a pressure bag over here and we have pressure on it. We're up. So it has a side port off of your bag. Lower that again. So we'll make that connection. The other one will go to this little, little disc side. It allows to pressurize the bottle of contrast. So think about it if you had a two liter and you took the bottle cap off and you just turned it upside down and it would go bloop, 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 and air has to go up and, and the cola would have to come out. Well, this way the air goes in and the contrast will come straight out this side. The air automatically pressurizes from a separate hole. That way we don't end up with that bloop, 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 like a, like a two liter bottle. Cause that would, that would introduce a lot of air into your manifold. So we will take this and we'll spike your, spike your contrast and you have that connected. I'm going to take the saline I'll put over here. So the scrub person's already passed off the three lines. So you have all, all of these. Here's your, your contrast from that side with the little green ball. So take your cap off and you'll take this off and make your connection. So down here, this is a long arm, but it says off. So the problem is it is off to the bag right here. This pressure bag that it is pushing external pressure on your saline, the air from the inside of the bag is pressurizing your contrast bottle. So we have to turn this to where we could actually get uh, air from the bag to the inside of the bottle, okay? And I want you to be able to see the pressure going in. So you see the air bubbles coming in is I'm releasing some of the air from this bag and it comes through that mail to mail out of the bag and over and into my contrast bottle. Next thing is I want to turn this valve open and allow some of my contrast to go to my patient. Um, make sure that green ball is not stuck at the bottom. What happens is all this contrast will sit on top of it and that ball won't be able to move and then you have to wait on your scrub person to pressurize it from that side. So just turn it to the side and open that up. You can see the it's going down. These air bubbles are pressure from this bag going in. So this bottle is going to hold so much and it's going to hold the same amount. When the contrast is going down into here, it replaces that lost volume with the air. So I'm going to turn that. My ball is now floating and I'm good to go. I'm going to leave that. The next thing that was passed off is this, it's all by itself. This is your, your pressure transducer, right? So our transducer has already been flushed. There's another clip on it. It's airless. There's no air in there. You can see through the side. Uh, this is turned off. So you're not gonna use that because if I open this, all my saline is just gonna fall out the bottom. We'll leave that turned off. The next one that it even fits is up here. So when you prep this, if you leave a syringe or a cap or whatever on there, uh, that should signify to people that, hey, there's something there and it's off. This is the only available spot that is open for your pressure line from your scrub person. And this is turned off as well. Um, the long arm on here means that it's off. And this has, uh, it, if you make this and you leave it down, you will start in the down position, which is flushing. Your flush will come through your saline all the way through the manifold on the scrub side, which I'll cover in a second. Um, and through here and up, there's an arrow and an arrow. So your saline will come over and up. Remember, we've already prepped this side and it's flushed. All we are flushing is this top little L shape. Uh, so that is flush. Now this is open to air. This is a key thing. Uh, we have to have it at the right axis, fluvostatic axis, um, your transducer uh, will be in your clip or if you use the assist, it needs to be at the right level, um, but it has to be open to air. So here's an arrow and there's an arrow. Air can get straight to the to where it reads at. 
if this was clipped in there and at the patient level, you would tell your monitor to go ahead and hit zero. Uh, at that time, your pressure line will be on zero. Next, you can turn it off to air. So your patient's pressure is gonna come in and now it can go to your transducer and that would be good to go. We're gonna put that right there and leave it down. That's your first step. Next is uh, there's a pressure spike or a spike, sorry, for your saline. It's just a normal spike. I will pull that off, spike my saline, get your chamber like half full. Now, the only thing that's left to do is in a second, they're gonna flush over here and you wanna make sure there's no air bubbles. But as far as the initial connections, you are good to go as far as being a circulator um, and having these connected. This electrical connection is a, it's a cord that comes out of the bottom of the transducer and connects and it goes all the way over to the end I don't know if you can see but here's the red connection and it will go if you use P1 whatever P channel you use you will plug up to the GE box over here make sure that it is a good connection on both places and be sure to tell your monitor person which P channel you are using.